I was going to go to that protest, the trans protest. Yeah. Like put a wig on and a dress on. Mm -hmm. And then I thought I would get in trouble for like trans face. Mm -hmm. And I thought I, that was, it's just so funny mm -hmm. that dressing like a lady is offensive to the trans community. We like jokes. 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 jokes. I'm in charge of the protest now. I'm in with the powerful individuals, Ashley Marie Preston for organizing this wonderful event to hold people accountable. Give a round of applause for Ashley Marie Preston. I am never... We do have our guest backstage, Vito Gisaldi is here, uh, so let's bring him in and we will uh, talk about this. What up, Vito? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good, good. Thanks for coming in. I do I'm appreciate it. I'm exhausted. Everybody's, yeah. everybody's sending me messages from like the UK <laughs> and whatever else. They're like, you're on Danish national news. I'm like, why? Why does anyone care about this? But <laughs> I guess I'm having, I'm having some fun with it. But the idea that we got to go to the streets with signs and chants seems a, a disproportionate response. So my thought was, well, I want to go show support for Dave Chappelle and comedy. And uh, I believe this protest is absurd, so I'm going to protest it in an absurd manner, 
which involved showing up with signs that said, we like jokes, jokes are funny. We like Dave, Dave is funny. Nothing politicized, nothing political, just we're here for comedy. This, you know, I know guys who are good guys who've gotten canceled for just making the wrong joke or whatever else, saying the wrong thing. And uh, comedy's for, you know, kind of in a weird position right now. Yeah. Now, now correct I, I me mean, if I'm wrong. I, these were yeah. well, most these pro these protests. These were all Netflix employees. It wasn't like a like a general protest. These were mostly people. Well, I'm not actually sure. A lot of them were Netflix employees. I believe some people came in from the surrounding community to show support. So it was kind of a mix. And I don't know exactly who was who. I wasn't, you know, asking that. Um, but a lot of it was Netflix employees. I was there. As a comedian making jokes, I'm not pushing people around. Yeah. For the love of God, I'm worried for my own safety at these things. There's a lot of guys in masks staring you down. You're like, listen, I don't want to ruffle too many feathers. Um, and yeah, it did get a little violent at one point. I can understand being upset by me being there. Uh, I would say, I mean, if I was these guys and I see a big fat guy with a sign that says jokes are funny, I tell everybody, listen, ignore it. Okay, he's got his point, whatever he wants to say. But we're not going to make ourselves look any better by breaking his sign in half. <laughs> and again, if you don't want confrontation or whatever else, uh, you know, you can have a private, you know, gathering, speak, lecture, whatever else. But if you're going to have it in the middle of Hollywood and loudly announce it to everybody and you're coming after one of the greatest comedians of all time, you kind of got to expect that two douchebags with signs might show up. People are going to be on the side of comedy. We love comedy, and especially in America. We love free speech. We love being able to speak our mind, even if it is a little risque.